There's something about a GTA Online update, man. I just flippin' love it. I'm so glad I started playing this game. It's like the whole world, anything can be happening. You just have to stop for the GTA Online update because we all just want to get together and see what they've given to us. So let's get started with the basics here. Pull out our phone and let's head over to Legendary Motorsport where we met with four new vehicles, it looks like. Here we have the Lamborghini. Here we have a new Maserati. What we didn't know about up until recently, we have a flippin' Sauber C9 race car over here. Flippin' awesome. Probably get to that here in a second and we have the audi egt e-tron i think ken block owns one of these definitely will buy this thing as well i have a special place left for another audi i actually uh didn't buy that weird i think it was the electric suv thing that came out with a the trunk was glitched moving along to warstock cash and carry you guys may be a bit upset right now but uh yeah it doesn't seem like there is anything over here unless i'm somehow missing something which yeah, that could be true too. And lastly, the thing that you guys want to know, Southern San Andreas Super Autos, we have the, what I believe to be a Dodge Monaco. Not exactly my first choice when it comes to checking out cars, but it's got Imani Tech from what I see over here. So something that I did forget, got a new helicopter. Whoops. Now, given this isn't like your regular update where we have like a main central theme, like a building we need to buy or a business per se, I made a little list of things that I want to check out or things that stood out to me and we'll just tick them off one by one. So the first thing is, we gotta buy a new car. And what better place to start than with the Pegasi Torero XO. Woo -hoo -hoo. We have the modern day Lamborghini Countach and it is gorgeous, probably one of the best looking cars that you can buy from Lamborghini. So let's just pick it up in any color. 2.89 million order, there's no, uh, no trade price, anything like that. Let's get it into this garage here. So my biggest irrational fear now is that we're not going to take it to the correct place to modify it. So I think the best place to modify something is probably the auto shop. Nah, not the auto shop. Let's take it to HSW and see what can be done over there. Ooh, look at these Rolls Royces. Let's go. But before the new Countach arrives, let's just take a quick look at what we're dealing with here. So it's a 2022 Lamborghini Countach LPI 800. Dash four. So just like the ignorance behind there, this car is kind of based on the Lamborghini Chiron. It's the same chassis with the same engine. The 6.5 liter V12 naturally aspirated along with a 48 volt electric motor making an additional 34 horsepower. And the most impressive thing about this car, which you probably already know, 112 units were made. All of them sold out less than a week for $2.6 million. And as I say that, this bad boy has arrived. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, without a single doubt in my mind, worth every flippin' last cent, man. Flip. You know what? I might even give you three million. Maybe take like four million. Damn. They made this thing look nice in GTA. Check it. We've got some carbon fiber rear view mirrors here. Now I've got this thing in black and flip, does it look awesome. Anyway, enough chatting. Let's go drive this thing. So there's my first little thing there. Visit your bunker if I want to learn about ammunition. Okay, sweet. That's on my list, on my to-do list. First instincts. This thing rocks. Handling is solid. It was kind of worth the 2.89 million so far. Damn, it looks good. We have to do a Lamborghini meet at some point. I need to do a Lamborghini garage as well. Woo! -hoo! No, 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 don't do it! Not bad. Alright, so obviously, completely stock. But even in completely stock form, I mean, handling is epic. Acceleration and top speed could definitely use some work. But before we pull in here, Check a look at this. There's all these people now with the uh, updates calling us here. So, yeah, we have a lot of things to check out, I'd say. Ooh, parked right next to an Ignis. Yeah, that looks sick. Ooh, that startup sound as well. Man, my homie got the flopper new Mazer over here. Sick. Okay, let's go modify this thing. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see the options that we have on the Pegasi Porero XO. Hooper. All right, armor. 100% brakes. Let's do it. Bumpers. Ooh, we got options, 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 options. Okay, now these splitters are sticking out a bit too much. What's the cleanest looking thing here? Uh, damn. Very minute changes between all of these. I think we're going to keep that stock. That stock rear bumper. Ooh, delete underground racing. <laughs> that looks sick. All right, this is Batman stuff over here. Don't think I need that either. Doc it is. Easy, easy, easy. Woo! Okay, these cannons make it look like a, a retro Lambo, without a doubt, yeah. Nah. Full grill covers. Hmm, nah, I don't think we need that either, huh? 
I like the Torero over there, so let's keep that. Okay, so definitely no HSW upgrades here, but I thought I'd just check it out anyway. So a little bit of changes in the exhaust, don't need to do anything there. Ah, so it says hood, I was expecting to go to the front, but I guess the hood is over here, isn't it? <laughs> we'll just do that. Headlights, why not make them white, why not something different? Alright, so here we got some interesting stuff. We got the liveries. Two-tone, nah, pinstripe, hmm. Oh, that looks dope. Dope racing theme over there. That looks sick. Reminds me of Initial D. Redwood Rally. Yeah, that looks dope as well. But some ammo. Ah, ah, you guys know me, man. I'm, I'm difficult when it comes to liveries. It needs to sit like absolutely perfectly. Otherwise, it's just not my thing, you know. Feel uh, no kids is warranted over here. All right. Now, we don't have any new colors, it looks like. All the same. All right. <laughs> Damn, gold looks good. Gold looks good. I wanted to go yellow because it was a Lambo, but... I really enjoy this red pearl as well. I think my Ignis is already up in yellow, so we're going in this. We do have a couple of roof options here. Hmm, interesting stuff. I think I'll keep that stock as well. Looks the cleanest. And then the skirts. Typically, I never do anything with these because they just add like massive flipping piece of like plastic, it looks like. Not my thing. Any neat wings? Whew, that is actually neat right there. The ducktail. Oh, yeah. It's a bit too high and aggressive for my Lambo. Definitely don't want a wing that actually sticks out. Yep. Let's do the ducktail. Perfect. Let's see how much we can lower this thing. Nice. Competition suspension. Race transmission. Couple of options with the trunk here. Yeah? I do like these intakes. These intakes look sweet. Yeah, let's just go with the dual intakes. I think the actual... Actually, the old Kuntash had something very similar. Turbo, 50k. Got some vent options here. Might as well leave it stock. Wheels. I mean, these things are gorgeous. I don't see myself changing these at all. Not a chance in hell. Let's leave that. And that's it. So, I mean, not that many options, but uh, more than enough for what you need in a Lamborghini Countach for up in 2.89 million. Let's go drive this thing. And I think, uh, let's go find that new dealer shop. That dealer shop, dealership. And see what's going on over there. Oh, before we go, let's rev this engine. I think that sounds exactly like all the other ones, but it's still flipping nice. So some bad news, guys. As I drive my newly modified Torero, uh, the dealership is opening soon, so that's not even out yet. And so we got to move on to the next thing on our list. So what I wanted to do to check out what's most important for me about this update anyway is see about uh, sourcing cargo for your nightclub. Apparently that's pretty interesting. It still does look beautiful, though. All right, let's see what this is about. Hey, boss, it's uh, Johan from your nightclub basement. I'm the tech guy. It's totally cool if you don't remember me. I know you're busy. And, oh, sorry, I'm rambling. Sorry. Okay, it's just with all this craziness with the gas prices, supply chains, I've been looking into some new options we have for keeping our stock levels high. High risk, high reward. That's like your MO, right? <laughs> Anyway, if you're down, just give me a call. I'll set you up, okay? Bye. D I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, 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 bye. Hey, boss. What Let's can I do go. For you? Request nightclub goods. Let's go. Cool. Totally. Let me see what we have. Oh, this is sick. We can source our own nightclub goods. All right, well, you heard the man. Off to the docks we go. Look, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you guys, right? For 2.89 million, I thought this Torero was going to be a bit more quick and a bit more firm handling. But, uh, ugh, I don't know, man. Not hitting the mark right now. It looks like we're giving the typical time of 15 minutes to do this mission. Now, I really, really, really hope that there aren't, like, millions of guards here all guarding this cargo. All right, I feel suspicious that there's going to be a whole bunch of people looking at me very soon. Oh yeah, there is, like I thought. Hello, buddy. Woo, that was, that was a bit, that was a bit, a bit too brave. Seems to be a lot of dudes here. Oh, what's that?
All right, guys, so far so good. My shooting is not good early in the morning, it seems. You got to go. Surprise! All that Call of, Call of Duty Modern Warfare paying off. Stop being nervous. Let's just get the cargo and let's get out of here. And like usual, GTA style, the whole bunch of more people coming in. Uh, I got something special for these guys, though. And I ended up using a lot of body armor. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Just gonna pull this corner here quickly. Let's go, cargo delivered. That was fun, man. I can't believe we can source our own cargo. We can just call it in anytime we want. This is gonna be epic for money making. Oh, my guy's bleeding all over the place. That's terrible. So 1.2 million, so what was that? Like 50,000 or so? I'm not even sure, I kind of missed that. Well, guys, I think this was a pretty good first video on the new update. Definitely we'll make another one here shortly. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here for some reason, why not hit the subscribe button, like the video, it really helps. Here's my Weevil. Apparently there's a Benny's upgrade for this thing. Yeah.